a ruthless drugs lord is facing life behind bars after killing a teenager to get his hands on his county line business in the first case of its kind in the UK. Gail Bowler, 22, stabbed Meshuk Dos Santos Canelio to death because he wanted the 18-year-old's mobile phone, which he used to sell cocaine and heroin. Although the battered Nokia handset was so old, it was practically worthless. Its telephone number was a direct line to scores of drug addicts and a business worth hundreds of pounds a day. The case comes as the county line's epidemic fuels an upsurge in violence, with the number of gangs competing in the drugs trade soaring from 720 last November to almost 2 zero today. Gail Bowler, only 22. The Congolese kingpin was already earning £1,000 a day running three separate county lines in Hertfordshire, supplying hundreds of addicts. Considered by Scotland Yard to be one of the capital's most dangerous gangsters, he used an army of children to run three lucrative drugs chains supplying Stevenage, Ware and Hertford. But profits of £365,000 a year were not enough for the gang leader who wanted to expand into northeast London by taking over a thriving business run by one of his protégés, who was a once a childhood family friend. Detectives believe Bowler introduced Canelio to drug dealing and lured him into the Get Money Gang, or GMG, when he was 15 after the teenager moved to Enfield, North London, from Tulse Hill, South London, and wanted to make new friends. The schoolboy, known as Shaq or Steve, was groomed by Bowler four years, working for him initially as a runner before establishing a busy county line of his own in October 2017. When Bola saw the cash he was making, thought to be hundreds of pounds a day, he resolved to ambush the young dealer as he was stocking up in preparation for the biggest party of the year. The gangster, nicknamed Ghost, struck on the morning of New Year's Eve last year as Canelio was bagging up a massive stash of cocaine and heroin for that evening at a friend's house in Enfield. When Bola arrived at 11am with two associates, the victim let him in but refused to hand over the Nokia handset. Bola repeatedly punched him in the head, shouting give me the phone before stabbing him in the chest and fleeing with the phone, as well as cash and drugs thought to be worth thousands of pounds. Drug users who were in the property called the emergency services at 11.30 a.m. They found the victim conscious on the living room floor, but reluctant to answer questions. He died later that day. Detectives later found 50 wraps of cocaine hidden in another room which Bola missed, as well as equipment used for cutting and bagging drugs. Although Bola was after the phone, it was to prove his undoing, the police were able to track him through it. He handed himself into a police station, just over a week later on January 8th when he told police, I did not stab Shaq. I was not involved in the stabbing of Shaq. He was a good family friend.